For 2017, Integrity Toys launched the Swinging London Collection. Poppy has arrived in London, and she's so excited to see the debut of her line of clothing, Poppy Gear. She's having fun modeling the new dresses from the collection. Naturally, she'll be the focus of the ad campaign. Poppy Parker takes some time out of her busy schedule to go sightseeing in Swinging London. The British press have dubbed her, Popster, and she loves interacting with her fans in public, but it sure would be nice to see Big Ben without all of the blinding flashbulbs going off. Poppy has a makeover on Carnaby Street. She hits some of the most popular London boutiques, like Sign of the Times, and gets her hair and makeup done at the grooviest salon in London. Fresh from her modeling stint in Paris, Poppy knows it's time for a new look. This gift set delivers two fabulous Poppy Parker dolls, showing Poppy on her arrival in London from Paris, and then after her sleek mod transformation. This totally groovy gift set features a fabulously youthful Poppy Parker, with three ultra-colorful mini dresses, three pairs of shoes, and all sorts of mix and match accessories to create many fun looks. Poppy is on location, in a rainy day street fashion photoshoot, for Miss London, a makeup company, to promote their new line of lipsticks called Sunny Slickers. Dressed in super vibrant colors, Poppy puts some pop in her step in a mod update on the traditional raincoat. This colorful look brings a ray of light to any dull and dreary day. Wet or dry, she's a star. On a surprise day off, Poppy takes in another day of sightseeing. With her brand new 35mm portable camera, she can snap all of the incredible sights and attractions the city has to offer. Perfectly clad in her super modern pastel tweed suit, Poppy is set to take London by storm. She just wants to see it all and not miss a beat. Poppy was asked to guest star in a few episodes of her favorite British spooky TV series, Misty Hollows. Poppy Parker is dressed perfectly to play the part of the spooked out neighbor in a fashionable Victorian inspired mod dress. Since we couldn't leave our girl in the dark, Poppy has a miniature candle and holder, perfect to shine some light on the mystery surrounding the plot she stars in. When the London Tourism Bureau heard that Poppy Parker was in town, they couldn't wait to ask her to take part in one of the most sensational promo campaigns of the time. Poppy Parker is ready for her British invasion in a super cute Union Jack mini dress. With her fiery red hair, ultra mod leather scooter coat, Bobby's hat, and white knee high laced boots, Poppy is ready to lead the march to London's most fashionable spots. Poppy has a matching jewelry set, a purse, and three souvenir pillows from the photo shoot, so she can make her brand new egg chair pop with color. Poppy outshines the top British stars and celebrities at one of London's poshest clubs, where the entire who's who of the time would go to be seen. She wears a stylish knee-length satin overcoat, over a perfectly tailored little black dress. With her sleek hair styled in a swanky braided ponytail, and the rest of her look accessorized to perfection, she fits right in, with the British glitterati. As part of her stint in London, Poppy was invited to perform top hits from Bon Bon, her French album, on British TV. For the appearances, she handpicked the absolute grooviest looks. Everyone remembers her TV performances fondly even today, as the videos are still being shared all over the world, several generations later. This gift set includes two complete outfits, a guitar, jewelry and two pairs of shoes, everything Poppy needed for her costume changes. Straight off the set of an Agatha Christie whodunit, and channeling Miss Marple, Poppy is dressed in a plaid ensemble, of short cape, skirt and matching beret. This intrepid look is completed with a turtleneck shirt, fishnet stockings and tall blue boots. The doll has a necklace, a pair of painted on gloved hands, a purse and earrings. Taking some inspiration from vintage Francie's wild bunch outfit, this colorful psychedelic getup consists of a tiger print mini dress under a bright pink fur coat, with shoes, handbag, and jewelry to complete the look. Poppy's hair is truly mod, trimmed in a short, sleek bob. Poppy Parker's London trip is coming to an end. Her friends at the modeling agency invited her to a holiday party to ring in the new year ahead. Poppy decided to go gold, and she's glad that she did, the fabulous tree that decorated the hall felt like it was just waiting for her to arrive. Our favorite teenage model wears a slim fit floor length, white and gold gown, complemented by long triangular chandelier earrings, that perfectly match the pyramid pattern on her dress. Poppy also comes with elegant open toe heels, three bracelets, a golden clutch purse, and three holiday gift boxes for her friends. Colloquially, the term fairy tale or fairy story can also mean any far-fetched story or tall tale, 
It is used especially of any story that not only is not necessarily true, it can also be fantastic, in the fantasy meaning of the word. Fantastic really does apply to the Poppy Parker dolls that appeared at the Fashion Fairy Tale Convention in 2017. Out couture versions of well-loved storybook characters were created, including Snow White, Dorothy Gale from The Wizard of Oz, Tinkerbell, Red Riding Hood, and even a fairy godmother. For good measure, the collection was rounded out with two high fashion outfits, your move, and clueless. Of course, the fairy tale romance of the convention had the traditional happy ending. Soda Pop Saturday has a definite Kate Spade vibe, as well as harking back to Poppy's earlier life in the Midwest, before she traded hanging at the local malt shop for the glamorous life of a teenage fashion model in the Big Apple. The City Sweethearts capsule collection introduced us to a beatnik Poppy, the beatniks were media stereotypes going back as far as late 1940s, through the 50s to mid-1960s. The trope was used to indicate the more superficial aspects of the beat generation literary movement, of the late 40s to mid-50s. Elements of this beatnik personification included pseudo-intellectualism, drug use, and a cartoonish depiction of real-life people, along with the spiritual quest of Jack Kerouac's autobiographical fiction. Five distinct moods were captured in the City Sweethearts collection. In addition to beatnik and intellectual, this capsule edition included a little quality shopping at Lord & Style, in a lavender-tailored suit, with bold contrast stripe detail. Naturally, a signature shopping bag was part of the look. A vision in peach was the ball gown entry to the collection. Just how many shades of peach can one doll wear? Poppy certainly shows us, in this lavish ensemble, offset with demure pearl jewelry. Finally, Darla Daly makes a reappearance, in a two-doll daywear gift set. Vibrant modern prints combine with pops of color in a head-turning combo. There's even a graphic kitty print tote bag included. Next we head off to Milan, for the Italian doll convention. Billed as the convention that goes to Cartoonia, Poppy Parker's appearance certainly lives up to expectations. Chow Poppy was available in both pale blonde, and bubblegum pink, hair colors. Her schoolgirl with a twist outfit was a saucy reimagining of the traditional school uniform, with pop art color combos you'd never expect to see in the classroom. She even appears in cartoon form on her own Chow Poppy shopping bag. In case there was a little time to relax at the Lido, convention goers received a coordinating skirted bikini, ideal to pair with the red cat eye sunglasses. It's the summer of love, and Poppy Parker has a hippie moment. The hippies were part of the counterculture of the 1960s, originally a youth movement that began in the United States during the mid-60s. The word hippie came from hipster, and was used to describe beatniks who moved into New York City's Greenwich Village, San Francisco's Haight-Ashbury District, and Chicago's Old Town community. The term hippie was used in print by San Francisco writer Michael Fallon, helping popularize use of the term in the media. The origins of the term hip is uncertain. By the 1940s, it had become part of African-American jive slang, and meant sophisticated, currently fashionable, or absolutely up-to-date. The beatniks adopted the term, and early hippies inherited the language and countercultural values of the beat generation. Hippies created their own communities, listened to psychedelic music, embraced the sexual revolution, and many used drugs such as marijuana, and LSD, to explore altered states of consciousness. Hippie fashion and values had a major effect on culture, influencing popular music, 
television, film, literature, and the arts. Since the 1960s, mainstream society has assimilated many aspects of hippie culture. The religious and cultural diversity the hippies espoused has gained widespread acceptance, and their pop versions of Eastern philosophy and Asian spiritual concepts have reached a larger group. The peace symbol, which became associated with the hippie culture, was originally designed for the British nuclear disarmament movement in 1958. The V hand sign was widely adopted by the counterculture as a symbol of peace, and still today in the United States, it is known as the peace sign. For a complete change of style, Poppy Parker appeared in the Lux Life convention that took place in Portland, Oregon, in 2018. The ensembles for Lux Life were as if the 1960s had been re-envisioned with a modern eye. Metallics were to the fore, combined with a monochromatic palette for each outfit, to give a real sense of luxury. One color did not mean boring. However, this was not a collection for the faint-hearted. Both acid yellow and hot pink were present, as well as the more traditional off-whites, beiges, and grays, perhaps more commonly associated with the luxurious image. At the Lux Life convention, Poppy Parker appeared as a style lab build a doll concept. Convention attendees received a selection of body parts and outfit pieces with Style Lab purchases. The complete set allowed the lucky recipients to assemble a brand new Poppy doll, wearing a bold graphic spatter pattern top with train and bondage style ballet flats. A bold fusion of the 60s with today's cutting edge look. The modern yet 1960s vibe continued with Split Decision, a doll duo featuring two quite distinctive looks for Poppy Parker and more metallics in combination with Lux fabrics. The 2018 ended with the spectacular gift set, looks aplenty. Three head and shoulders busts of Poppy were included, with one body, plus the option of an additional two-pack body upgrade. With a trio of distinctive hair colors, bright auburn red, a wild azure blue, and natural blonde, this was a truly versatile gift set that allowed Poppy Parker to transform into three quite different looks. As an added bonus, both the high-heeled arched feet and the flexible ankle foot were in this set, for even more play opportunities. Music